Hey guys, today we're going to make my Friday finance video and I wanted to address maybe a potential misunderstanding. Uh, whenever you speculate on card and does extremely well, it is highly likely you speculated on something that did very poorly, uh, just that people will promote to promote themselves and really kind of almost egotistic and I speak as someone who does this. Uh, to say, oh, I'm really good at this speculation when the fact that there's an equally bad speculation. So today I'm going to talk about my equally bad speculation since it's only fair. Uh, Aloran did extremely well for me, but at the same time, I did purchase some of these. Uh, actually, they were in the same uh, order. And that's why, you know, I'm making this video because I was like, oh, I, was, I went back to look at the Lorens to see what prices I ordered them at. And I realized I also ordered a few different sets of this. Now, San Diego Comic Con at the time, I felt like it would be an extremely valuable collection and it was not going to deteriorate in price. As I found out, they have tremendously deteriorated in price. Not so much the 2013 promos, although they are down from the $800. Uh, they stuck around $800 for a long time, and they have only recently tanked. But the 2014 promos, those promos started off at, you can see, $900, maybe close to $1,000. And now they ha are sub, you know, let's say $300, and not even like, close to $200. Uh, maybe on a good day on eBay, you can probably find a set for 200 I did not buy for 200 I bought this particular set around the time Origins. So when after it rotated out, I was like, oh, this would be a good long-term pickup. And that was around $380. Since then, it has just continued to tank. And I don't see any hope for this particular uh, set. Uh, mainly because uh, the analysis I ran on it was not correct um there used to be uh, this belief that if a card was unique and it was uh, special i mean it doesn't really get more unique and special than this card then it should retain its value that is no longer true so the only cards that i've really see going up in price are uh, cards on a reserve list and that's it uh, i would a lot of you ask me for advice or where to put your money. First of all, don't put your money in magic cards. Magic cards are just a terrible place to put money uh, in terms of put money into, you know, buying a home so you don't pay rent, put money into paying off your credit card bill so you're not paying interest, student loans, put money into pretty much anything but magic cards will be a better investment long term wise. Um yeah. And so the main question that a lot of you guys want to know is where should you you know, if you had to trade into it or buy something, what would you buy? And I would say at this point, there's nothing I can recommend outside the reserve list. It has to be reserve list or nothing else. Uh, even when you look at a card like, you know, the, my favorite card to pronounce wrong, Doc Faden, Dak Faden. And that card was only, the only print it had was in Conspiracy 1. A lot of people did not expect it to be reprinted so soon. And it was reprinted in Eternal Masters. So Conspiracy 1 was a year later uh, for the Chase Mythic and Conspiracy 1 to be reprinted again in Eternal Masters a year later. I know it's a limited set run, but that is surprising to me as someone who's played this game and played the financial aspects of this game for a long time. I would have never expected that to happen. Uh, it is um, still confusing to me, but it's a player's game. It's always been a player's game. Uh, now, I think the sooner you realize that, the sooner you're going to be able to enjoy the game. I enjoyed the game far more today than I did when I was trying to nickel and dime people and shark people and do all that MTG finance, financey stuff. I'm just having fun. It's a fun game. It's really a fantastic game, um, and when you don't really, when you don't have to uh, worry about prices as much, you're going to enjoy it ten times more. And that's where I am currently uh, with the game. Is I don't really look at the value. It's nice that they hold value or they go up. It makes it a little bit easier for me to trade for stuff I want, and I'll definitely continue with uh, some of the financing stuff. 
But at the end of the day, it really doesn't make me um, happy. It does not make me enjoy the game more. Uh, I would much rather just play it uh, even at an extremely casual level, which is where I'm currently at right now. I can't even win. I can't even like win game days anymore. And I used to be able to take back to back to back game days. I can't even win pre-releases anymore um, because I'm just super casual. <laughs> Sometimes you know I'll throw a game. Uh, because I want to do something kind of fun as opposed to doing the optimal play, uh, even though I know what the optimal play is. So anyways, that's it. A longer video. I'll probably have a shorter buy this card video later today. Bye.